So um, we're going to first try to get this uh, website here hosted on S3. Okay, and so what I want you to do is make your way to the S3 console. You can just go up to services here and type S3 and click here and you will arrive at the same location. And we're going to need two buckets. So I've already registered a domain called frangialliance.com here uh, in Route 53. Okay, and uh, we're going to have to... So I just did a quick Google on static website hosting bucket policy um, and I uh, arrived here on the AWS docs. And so what we need is we need this policy here, okay? And so I'm just gonna go copy it here and I'm gonna go back to um, S3 and I'm gonna paste in this bucket policy. Now I do need to change this to match the bucket name here. So we'll just copy that here at the top. Okay, and so what we're doing is we're saying uh, allow uh, allow read access um, to all the files within this bucket, okay? Um, and this said, we can name it whatever we want. It's actually optional. I'm just gonna remove it to clean it up here, okay? And uh, we should be able to save this, okay? And we are. And um, now this bucket has public access. So if we go back to this 403 here and do a refresh, our website is uh, now up. So um, there is a few other things we need to do. So this form, when we submit it, I wanted to send off uh, an email uh, via SNS. And I also want it to, um, I want it to also store it in DynamoDB so we have a reference of it. So let's go ahead and set up um, an SNS topic and then we'll proceed to do DynamoDB.